Dear Cancer, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is your reading. This is your weekly love reading. So let me tell you the messages that I have for you. So this is for the sign of Cancer. Um, just a weekly love reading because I realized that my, you know, most Cancers have been focusing on their pentacles, their values. These days, I've kind of been putting love a bit to this side. So I, I did a, you know, a little reading to see where your love life is at, where your space, your energy is really at this time in love. So let us get started. So I, we started with this feeling of feeling burdensome with not knowing what to choose. Like it's still feeling it's coming from a place of uncertainty maybe a feeling of being hurt still like your wounds haven't properly healed up yet and so you're not really certain how to choose going forward right so you want to be out of this energy of not being able to distinguish between what is good for you and what is not and what to accept in your life or not because Cancerians are very motherly, nurturing. So sometimes we attract people that are looking for healing, nurturing, people that haven't healed their childhood traumas and stuff like that. Sometimes we attract those kind of people to us that drain our energies and leave us feeling depleted. So we are wanting to make better life choices in love and in our lives in general. But this is a love reading, so let us focus on romance and love. So Sometimes we see things that dazzle our eyes and look good on the outside, but are they really connected to our heart center? So that is where the confusion is coming in a bit right now. That is the energy that's kind of weighing down on cancer is choosing right, not feeling lost or going through feelings of um, uncertainty or lack of trust in what to choose going forward in love. But you're going to be guided um, how to go forward with this. So I see the Empress card, which is saying a way to really clearly choose what you want is to be a representative of that which you're looking for, right? So notice that she's dressed. The word ornament is still coming up in my in my energy field. Ornament, but I probably want to say adorned. So you can see how she's adorned herself. Um, I feel like she's trying to like really get how she want how she feels on the inside the things that she wants to manifest from inside not confusion but clarity knowing who to choose what to choose you know um so she's want to be she's she's being a representative of whether you're male or female right of that which she wants to attract so she's taking the effort to eat well to go out in nature to really put even on the clothes that are matching the vibration, adorning herself on the outside to really match what she wants to attract on the, on the outside, from the outside world. So that will help to clear up some of the confusion in making choices because we create what we are, we manifest what we are. So if you're confused, you're going to get, you know, more confusion. But if you decide, it's like a six of cups energy where what you are on the inside is attracted to you on the outside. So you're taking that energy to really make a decision to be more stable and grounded, be more authentic to yourself as a Cancerian as well. You know, dwell in nature spaces surrounded by water, by love, by purity, um, being connected with your intuition. So you're, you're literally practicing these things so that you can establish yourself as one that attracts better into the confusion. Um, so that was the Empress card. Now we have the two of wands, which is saying you have been presented with a kind of a clarity in yourself. Maybe your intuition because Cancerians are very intuitive. So I believe that you're actually choosing. So around here we saw like a feeling of confusion of what to choose. What can I go along with? Who do I trust? What is real to me? What is best for me right now? Um, especially in love but right now I feel like you're actually deciding to go with your true intuition to align with your life purpose to kind of have a focal a focus or, or a concentrated view 
and what is natural to your essence you know as i said intuition so you're trying to you're about using your intuition for guidance right now in choosing the path that is best for you okay and then using your intuition you're actually i think that is where it's coming from for you to really align by practicing being who you are speaking expressing yourself as who you want to be not confused clear what kind of person i want to attract to me i want somebody honest and loving and kind so i am being that kindness to myself i'm being kind to other people as well so i'm a walking representation of what i wish to attract so this is actively um adorning one's temple with the likeness or the like-mindedness of what one wishes to attract so that will help to clear up some of the feelings of stagnation of confusion of lack of clarity of how to go forward and so on in love is to really be authentic in yourself cancer and you know this is your power the empress here she's surrounded by nature by water by beauty by divinity creativity she's an expression of who she is so if you're feeling a bit uncertain try to express yourself fully truthfully go into knowing who you are and then um be that just be a representation of of the truth of who you are and then you will definitely attract to you what reminds you of who you are so we see the justice coming in play here which i'm saying like the universe is on your side to bring in that feeling of balance to help you to get rid of what is confusion even in yourself because sometimes we have to really be disciplined in ourselves in our mind to say i'm no longer going to be someone that procrastinates because we might be battling with should i do this task right now when it comes to choosing right should I choose to delay things? What what am I choosing? Feeling a bit of confusion. So the justice is here to bring balance to say, if you wish to really be a representation of yourself, if you wish to really attract good to you and attract the kind of love, love in your life that you want, you have to clear away certain confusion and be strong. So this feels like um, a bit of upset to me. And that's why justice is here to bring in balance, to help you to stay grounded, to stay firm to um, accept what is good for you release what is not good for you to help you to stay grounded in your roots in knowing who you are so that you can really represent yourself well so that you attract well because I think the main thing right now for cancerians is attracting that stable partner that maybe that king of cups energy that will be sort of a balance for cancer maybe a fellow water sign someone that will help cancer and to feel grounded in themselves so justice is here to help to bring balance and clarity and help to help you to clear through the conflict in your mind and also in your external external environment um right so in order to for you to decide what's good for you because you might as a cancer and still get offers because you're moving into a place of uh, being a representation of light, of truth, of beauty, of purity, of divinity in yourself, you might be attracting people that like that. As I said, there are certain people that come to you just because they are unhealed. So you might see someone come to you with an offer that looks nice, but is it real? Is it coming from their heart space? Or are they just listening to what you're saying and wanting to really just give you that just because you're asking for it? Or do you want somebody who is also representing who they are? So the, you, um, it feels like justice is actually helping you to decide on how to really distinguish between what's good for you and what's not. This person looks like someone who is trying to impress you. But are they really grounded? Or are they really just putting on on the outside what seems like this is what I want? Like, can say so she wants a cup of love, I'm going to give that to her. Or is it true to them for me I feel like you might be faced with some offers that are not coming from the place that you really want it to come from for this person whosoever this offer is coming from is not really healed and that is why they're trying to rush into you to get some of your love right now under some type of a pretense or a guise to say they're in alignment with you but in truth they really are not because they haven't healed they themselves have childhood traumas going through that they need to work through but they're not really paying attention to that right now because they're really on the surface trying to impress you so you don't want to attract that 
And that is where some of the confusion came in. Because you might be attracting some people that want to impress you. But that's not what you want right now. You're looking for a higher vibration of love. Somebody that you can stand with you. So be mindful that some offers that might be coming into you are just to impress you and not, not really the grounded stability that you're looking for. Um, so this person, because they haven't healed, they can hurt you, right? And they themselves are hurt, okay? So you have to be really careful of that. And be reminded that um, some of the hurt that comes to us is, a really, is, is really to help us to be grounded and more stable within ourselves with the Four of Swords here. To really to, to help us to set more boundaries, to know who we are, to actually get to identify to identify red flags so that we can really, you know, know red flags, know this the signs that are warning us. Because sometimes some people come in, they're literally coming from the universe to help you to set your standards, your boundaries, to help you to feel grounded and stable in making decisions that will be good for you. So yes, some offers coming that are not good for best for you right now. But it's from the universe to help you to solidify yourself, to help you to move into empress mode, right? So be mindful that of that. Um, remember too that what does not kill you makes you stronger. Okay, so yes, you might have gone through heartbreak, through through offers that weren't aligning with who you want to be. But be reminded that it's coming, it's guided by the universe because justice is at play here. Remember that justice is on the board. So you're being guided. What don't kill you, make you stronger. Meaning, yes, it it might have injured you, but at the same time, it helped you to build your standard, to help you to have more values, virtues, to help you to, to really be grounded in what's best for you in making a decision forward. So sometimes you come from a place of confusion, right? Not knowing how to choose, who to choose, what, what avenue to go down. But then the universe sends us a sort of a test through a person, right? That helps us to find that, that balance that helps us to really establish who we are. That's what I'm getting on. Sorry, Cancer. All right? So be reminded of that, so you need to choose well. And so there are offers coming in that are well. So when you actually make that decision, Cancer, to, to, to really be mindful of who you're choosing, of being stable, of passing the test that the universe tests you with a certain person, then you can be able to tell when something real is coming into you because you feel that you know how to sense something real. And this feels like a real offer coming in from the universe of a beginning of something new. And that newness feels like you now being able to use your intuition, right? So before you were like a bit confused, how do I choose? But because you went through that test to say, oh, I went through that heartbreak and it grounded me, but also it taught me a lesson how to use my intuition. How to really use my gifts as I have to build my standards and my virtues to plant seeds to know who I am so that's the newness you're getting through these tests of life and it's, it's like a gift from the universe that you went through a certain heartbreak it sounds harsh but it's true it's only that so that you can come into contact with what is really good for you so once you're now using your intuition as a cancerian which is a part of you innately it's like you're deciding to take this gift that the universe gave to you here, which is of a, a virtue, integrity, which is of uh, wanting to be in your empress mode also, right? You feel more confident and strong in going forward. Probably you're, you're, you're alone now, probably you're single, that's fine. I'm working on yourself, going off into the newness, knowing that you're guided, that justice is on your side, the universe is on your side, knowing that you're well guided by the universe, you have a cooperative components around you, and this is the gift that you received, your virtue, your intuition, and you're taking that along with you on this new journey, and it's like you went off and developed yourself. Now you're firmer, you're growing. People can see the growth and the development that you have made in yourself just by going through different tests in life, working through your intuition and really having stability in making decisions. So you're no longer confused, but you're coming back as 
bringing that value in yourself, raising your standards, knowing who you are, and then probably even coming to teach others about what you have learned in um, along your journey. Now you're firmer. Yes, you're cancer and you love to share your growing, you're connected to earth. But at the same time, you do have an outer shell and it is for a reason. It's for you to now know what to let in, what not to let in. That's, that's what the top part of this journey was saying to me. How do I decide what to let in and what not to let in? Right? So the universe sends you along these tests and then you pass them. And each time you pass, you get a gift. And it is something that is innate, that cannot be taken away from you. And it is a virtue and integrity that you carry along with you. Now you know how to use your intuition. You come back stronger. Um, I got the five of cups. It felt like it's saying to me, coming back stronger, knowing now how to be an alchemist, right? So before I could look at this as someone looking at what they have lost, looking back in depression. But for me, I feel like this person is looking at what they have lost and how they can turn it into something brand new. It feels like alchemy, right? And look at this. See this person here carving away it feels like they were they're turning these cups that have been spilled so working on what you lost maybe you went through a heartbreak but how can i actually turn this into something brand new alchemist right working now you see it's like you're brandishing something that you've lost like someone broke your heart and now i'm teaching other people how to get through heartbreaks or i'm writing a book or something so it's like you're working through what was lost, you're, you're not calling it a loss. It's like you're not seeing the cup half full. But you're seeing, yes, even though something spilled out of these cups here, I I'm going to pick them up and make use of them. So it's making you more whole instead of being depressed. You're taking... So it's like alchemy for real, you know? Like you have really gone off and transformed yourself into one that can turn... A bad situation, heartbreak, and so on. You know? Now you can turn a bad situation. You know how to do it at the snap of your finger now. And you just look how happily this person is working. Turning what was negative, what was lost, into positive. So, like I said, writing a book, um, teaching people how to be strong. Whatever you're doing, Cancer, you've been through it. I know that. But now you're leveling up. You're on another level. Um, working with your values and not seeing things as lost anymore, but creating from the lessons that you go through in life, right? And then we came to the Queen of Swords, which is amazing because, as I said, now you've established yourself. It's like you've, you've bounced out outside of this world outside of the the normalcy of emotions of human nature to be triggered by the same things over and over again so now you're even sharper you're more focused on what you wish to create you let in more easily what's good for you and you block off more firmly what's not good for you and even this sword feels like if you're still alchemizing, you're still transforming the bad situations into good. And so even though negative situations might come your way, even in love, Kent, all right, you know how to use it as a stepping stone to get to where you want to be in love. So you might mean meet someone who is not treating you the way you want to be treated, but you're not seeing that as you're no longer seeing these things as a loss. You know, you've matured and like matriculated into this place where like okay like the queen really you see queen of earth right so so you're saying okay you didn't love me but what lesson have i learned from you you know you didn't give me what i want but i'm using it to to put into my manifestation box or into my vortex really of creation to say i want something other and um and because you are so in your power so much in your power of choosing what's right for you you glow up so before you were liter you were taking the you were practicing adorning yourself like with the empress you're wearing the clothes speaking into into fruition what you want manifesting um focusing writing journaling you're doing all of this so that you can become this established in self i know that the empress card is 
probably higher or more powerful than the nine of pentacles but for me it feels like now you have glowed up and i like to say thinking about goku and goku powers up you know he powers up from the inside out so this feels like you're powering up from the inside out so you're literally being that stable queen that is attracting what you want right so you're attracting in your environment who you are so that's what you've always wanted to be to not attract confusion or doubt or lack of clarity or someone who plays games and is a bit of a trickster or who just wants to impress you you don't want someone who just wants to impress you you know what i'm saying i believe that you want something more genuine something more real someone who has been working on themselves and so you become that person right you become the person who you want to attract so you're glowing up like goku literally pouring up shining attracting the beads the bees and the birds to you there's a lot of magnificence around you right now your energy is beautiful so vibrant so beautiful i feel like you're grounded you're rooted in your your expressions it's just become who you are there's a lot of value in you you see a lot of value in yourself and then i see this card and it feels like gone with the wind fabulous you know you're so fabulous right now the way how you're sing 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 is like the way how you're wielding your 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 sword of alchemy you know not letting things get you down anymore but you knowing how to really be powerful 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 you know what i'm saying knowing how to really be powerful because the universe and justice is on your team my dear cancer and so you're gone with the wind fabulous the way how you let in what's good for you you're not phased if you're off alone where is that fool card that right so you're not afraid of going off alone in your own glory but you because you know you have your virtues and your integrity is intact you know you're growing along your journey okay and so yeah powerful you're in your power post mode right now and because of that you you're getting what you've always wanted you're receiving See, you are actually open now, even though you're the queen of swords, which is blocking. You're actually open here, receiving, and look how the universe is giving that to you. And it's giving to you a representation of what you are. So your love is on its uh, on his way to you, like Moan said, right now, because you are right now in your power, and you deserve it because justice was here. And the universe was sending these tests to you and you kept going on your journey going through heartache disappointments and so on but you never gave up and you never settled for less you kept hardening yourself doing what you had to do going inside of your shell manifesting creating the world of your dreams and now you are ready to receive you are actually receiving yes you still have your guard up because you're smart it's like you're a wise queen who is grounded in her expressions you're expressing yourself well as a water sign you're guided by the universe um, the, the forces of earth is on your side and so because you're glowing cancer what you are on the inside is coming to you notice how yellow that cup is it is a match to your higher nature your divinity your true power of self so the universe is literally handing to you handing this gift to you because you're ready you have passed the tests you know you have leveled up yourself so what comes to you is no foolery no foolery that's gonna break your heart but something that you've always wanted a home a family um children of your own of course to govern over your home life someone to love someone to love you and it's all coming into you my dear look at this amazing i feel like um you have been very grateful and that is why you're being blessed with this gift from the universe because you have a lot of little nuggets in your heart in your energy space where you have been thankful so along your journey you have come across hardships of course but you've also encountered reasons to be happy 
reasons to find gratitude to expect more to be hopeful and you keep those like in a very comfortable part of your space like it, it is what keeps you hopeful because you have witnessed beautiful things in life you have beautiful memories beautiful experiences and because you have that place of gratitude within you you hold on to them to them you're seeing your cups as full not half full or not half empty but full because you are a creator of your reality the universe is blessing you so continue to really be grateful for the experiences you have be grateful for where you're at in life count your blessings you know really be proud of where you stand in life in your rootedness express yourself well give thanks give many thanks to the universe for really bringing in this blessing to you right and then look what we have at the bottom of the deck and it's right behind what the universe is giving to you so something is definitely coming to you this is the chariot card right this is movement this is glory this is like <laughs> because something is on its way and it's of high royalty beautiful it's wealthy it's wise it's a leader it's probably a leader of this person coming into you it's probably a leader of of nations who someone who knows how to master themselves someone who is in tune with the cycles of the moon so this person could be a fellow water sign um yeah i see a water sign or a taurus here okay so the person coming into cancer could be a water sign or a taurus but this person is highly valuable is governed over self and over others people look up to this person and they kind of adore this person and you deserve it the universe is taking it to you look at that hmm? amazing reading so if you're in the place where you're going through a lot of heartbreak it's okay it's just be mindful cancer that it is to actually make you wiser so you know how to use your intuition so you know how to block what is not serving you situations not serving you and know how to welcome goodness to you how to actually see blessings in your life and to cherish them how to be grateful and the more you're grateful and welcoming experiences of being grateful is the more you're standing in your power and when you are representing who you truly are miss cancer miss cancerian or mr cancerian the universe gives you the world in the chariot so that's what's going on in cancerian's love life right now you probably just are leveling up or you are already at this place where you manifested your true king or queen and you deserve it so much um, that's what I have for you I love you so much thank you so much for listening to my reading and I hope this was beneficial to you if it was don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more um, card reading and enlightenment take care and much love to you cancer bye